Oh, my dear viewers, welcome to this reading. This reading is for all Aquarians. It's a general reading for April and a little bit onwards, 2024, about every single area of your life that needs addressing information that is vital for you to know for April and a little bit over, maybe to May and maybe even June sometimes. We can never determine that. We can actually put the intention, but the universe and our guiding angels always tell us what they want us to know. Sometimes they want to tell you something ahead of time. So... The intention is for April 2024. For all Aquarians, welcome everybody. I hope you will enjoy this reading. I hope this reading helps you, supports you in understanding where you're at and what needs to be done and why you're feeling a certain way. My dear Aquarius, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, because I shuffle and I put them in the intention. I forget how much, how many there are. So we have nine messages for every Aquarian, every Aquarian here today. They are for all Aquarians, but you can make it personal and ask something you want to know. If there's something you want to know specifically for you, make it personal. You want to know timing. You want to know what are certain things, why are certain things happening, what time this will happen, why is this happening, what does this person think or whatever. Or will I get that job and will I, when will I get my money owing to me or whatever, whatever you want to know. Make a combination. Choose a combination. Say, for example... Say I want to know um, when will I get uh, when will I get my justice, for example, and you choose one, two, and three. It's up to you. You choose one, two. You choose one, two, three, and four. It's up to you how you what combination you get. So this makes it really nice. It gives you information and it gives you um, direct answers to that particular question that way you know this is about you all right my dear Aquarius let us begin welcome everybody starting with two important messages from the sacred forest when I come to reveal these open them I will let you know so you can put me on pause if you're not ready to prepare your questions and then unpause it to get the answers so two messages for all Aquarians for April the first one says wow the moonlight the enchant enchanted moon is like it's like magic it does so much. It, it gives you the greatest gift of all, which is knowledge, knowing, three actually, and, and freedom. Why I say freedom? Because it lets you know what is ahead and what your path is going to be like. You don't have uncertainty of not knowing what will happen. Will I get there? What's the truth? What will happen You know, when I get there, when I do this or, or after this? All that, all the uncertainty, all the questions, it answers you and shows you your path clearly. So the enchanted moonlight does more than that. It gives you um, an understanding towards um, all your emotions, all your emotions, everything. So it shows here freedom, partnerships, changes that are coming, but mostly things that are going to free you big time. So we've got um, July here. We've got um, July very strong. And it's amazing because the moon is the ruler of uh, Cancer and Cancer is July also and Leo. But it's the ruler only of Cancer so that well, there won't be a misunderstanding. Something about Cancerians. Cancerians might be benefiting or uh, there's something about Cancer, star sign Cancer, okay? The zodiac sign. One more message for all Aquarians. You could be dealing with a Cancer. You could be meeting a Cancer. You could be, you know, you might have Cancer within you. You're one of your zodiacs. Your moon could be in Cancer. So anyhow, dragon. This year is the year of the dragon, 2024. So a lot of power is going to be given to you. This power is going to help you reach to levels beyond where you are today and, and knowing and being empowered to do things. I feel like it's connected to... Uh, someone who's Chinese year of the dog here, also on top of the dragon. Someone being very supportive towards you. November is going to impact you on a grand scale. And somebody born in November is usually Scorpio or Sagittarius. So pay attention to that. If it is someone you're meeting, we are going to go at the end of the reading. We're going to go through the star signs and see what are the star sign combination of the people, of the person that you are consumed with, dealing with or meeting uh, in April onwards, so you will know their star sign and uh, more about them at the end of this, okay So we've got that established now. What I'm going to do is get one butterfly message And Chinese zero of the dragon here <clears throat> my dear viewers Chinese zero of the dragon 
So we have laughter. Wow. Laughter. You need laughter in your life. You need happiness in your life. Happiness and laughter is coming. If you're not laughing now, you will be. Prepare yourself. A lot of laughter, a lot of happiness. Now, my dear Aquarius, before I start the tarot, <coughs> I'm going to go through. I'll put it over here. I'm going to go through um, these messages for you. So if you're not ready, pause me. Ask your questions. I'm paused to get the answers. Let's go. We're starting with the first one here. Bittersweet. Hmm. Bittersweet. Something isn't quite perfect. Bittersweet shows that. Bear with me, my dear viewers. Just a little bit of water to replenish the throat. The throat chakra. <laughs> and this is the throat chakra. Something that's happening here, which is bittersweet, means sort of like black and white. Something good and something not so good. Perhaps you're realizing when you're dealing with someone that there's a side to them that's really nice and sweet and there's another side that's really bitter. Or there could be a situation that's making you really happy and then there is a bit of bitterness that comes alongside it. Now another explanation is that in the midst of you being happy or celebrating something, something not so good bad thing happens that is also a possibility we'll, we'll know as we do everything and we get the tarot we'll find out exactly what this means and how is that in connection to you let's have a look at this one the gavel the gavel is all about law enforcement situations involving involvement with the law and government law and government you've got to be very careful to do the right thing so that you don't get involved in any problems the gavel is about law mm, interesting Okay, we have the perfect key. Mm. There's a lot of Chinese here of the rooster I'm seeing here. Chinese here of the dog, I saw this twice. And Chinese here of the monkey and the ox buffalo. But the dog twice, the rooster uh, double, the dog double. Now the perfect key shows that you have given your heart to someone. You are considering a new place perhaps. You're considering a new home. Some of you have locked your your heart in, in, like you're just not prepared to deal with anyone. You don't want any, you've been hurt and you don't want to trust anybody. I do, especially when it comes to a key. Now, this is about a key. There's too many keys here. There could be a key that somebody might be wanting to use your home and, and you've been bitten like and scared, like you don't want that. You don't want to um, do that. Uh, I also feel like in the future, very near future you're looking to cohabitate with someone you're thinking about living together with someone and getting a place together it's got to be a perfect home you're hoping that'll be a perfect home feel this person could have this could be in connection to chinese year of the rooster whether it's yourself or the person and i do feel like um you are going to have the perfect home it just needs a little bit of time and you will get there and i feel like this is sort of like somewhere between september and november for timing September, November, and if you want a closer timing between two to nine weeks. Okay, let's have a look at this one here. Mercury, hmm, the messenger of the gods. Mercury is connected to Virgo, connected to Gemini. It's about communication. It's about ideas. It's about someone talkative that gives you an idea who that person is. It is also about resourcefulness, manifesting what you need. It is about curiosity and it's uh, the magician. So the card of the magician and that shows that like magic, things are going to fall into place for you. And it also shows that Chinese year of the Oxia Buffalo in two, in two, which is two months from April, May, June, in June, something magically transforms in your life. You are so inspired by the action you have taken. You'll see all the resourcefulness of your hard work, the conduct, everything is going to be magnificent. But it's going to finish so quickly. You'll be so, your inspired action, like, for, ex for example, if you're putting on a party and you've worked hard and months and months, and then it's all, when the day comes, it's like, it's over. Oh my God, it was just too quick. There's something like that. But I do see it, the expression is very important. How do you express yourself? You've got to be very careful. Uh, there is curiosity, but the conduct of what happens is important also. So you are going to be empowered big time. There's something big and major happening in June. 
Connected to people born in February who are Aquarians like yourself, my dear Aquarius. You might be dealing with someone like yourself, Aquarius. Or they might have a little bit of Pisces in them also. Chinese year of the ox, very strong. Okay, let's move on to this one. I still got to have these glasses. It's not all about. Now we have a dog close up pleasure with a close friend so yes you might you might have pleasure with a, uh, a a close friend it could be um someone that you might have missed but i do feel like uh, this could be a dog in your life someone that who's a good friend who's a good listener someone loyal i also feel chinese ear of the dog was twice and now it became three times chinese ear of the dog there's someone very strong in your life that is born in the chinese ear of the dog friendship loyalty completion something is coming to an end a chapter of your life could be ending somebody could be um passing away possibly um because we do have uh, sort of like a burial here so maybe grieving the loss of someone could be an ending of a chapter to prepare you for a new chapter or could be somebody passing or it could be the end of one major chapter in your life we'll find out as we do the tarot okay we have communications again so we've got Mercury, Virgo, and Gemini with communication. And now we have the Magician, Power. And we've got number two again. How amazing. Look at this communication and number two. I feel like this is really connected to Aquarius, which is yourself and someone that has Pisces in them. Aquarius, Pisces. I feel like the conversations are going to be helping you understand situations easier. In this particular one, Chinese Year of the Ox, remember that, and Aquarius and Pisces within two. So June could be two days two weeks for some but for the rest could be june for the majority it says when our conversations are light-hearted and playful it eases the tension that is sometimes there when we talk so when you are light-hearted and talking it makes life more simpler more easier more light -hearted, more laughter more laughter this is like all that's like being more funny and not so serious yes more laughter more happiness okay let's have a look at the other one here we've got i feel abandoned somebody's feeling abandoned chinese year of the monkey september something happening in september maybe nine days from now i feel abandoned i often feel like others let me down somebody may be feeling this way like you've been let down or feeling abandoned Nine is connected to September, and it's uh, the month of uh, Vir Virgo and Libra. So there could be a Virgo. Virgo twice. Mercury is a rule of Virgo and Gemini. So we got Gemini twice, communication. We got Virgo twice. And um, nine is the Chinese year of the monkey. Could be nine days from now. Something happening in September. Feeling abandoned. The final one, it says target. You are on target. So everything is happening okay in your life and you are on target. A goal-oriented person might be entering your life. You, you might be dealing with someone goal-oriented. So that's that one. Okay. My dear viewers, let us cut the cards and see for all Aquarians. I'll just give it one more shuffle. April, the truth. We're going to take four major impacts that will impact every Aquarian. Starting with the first one. I'll just put this one here. Yes, we can see the magician. And the gavel can be over here. Okay, the four of um, swords. It shows that you've been working hard and battling something really big. And finally, everything is coming to rest. It could be somebody that was ill that could be passing. That could be possible here. It was battling something really like uh, a, a very bad illness. It's coming to an end. Somebody could be passing. That's that one. Because we've got these two cards. But also it shows that there is something that you are resting from. The end of a battle. You don't have to do so much. Everything's going to be okay. Now you can take a vacation. Now you can take time out. So it's good news in that way. There is an end of a chapter, I see. There is an end of a situation that is no longer working. The truth is going to come and it's going to appear and let you know. That's what the moon is all about. Letting you know the truth, maybe somebody uh, could be, this abandonment situation could be part of it. Uh, maybe a, a relationship is coming to an end and you're feeling abandoned after all your hard work. Everything happens for a reason, remember that. If something like that happens, it's happening because of your highest good. Some, you are protected. Something wonderful might come out of it. But I do feel like um, a lot of revelations are going to put an end 
uh, to this. But when you have the key, this is really important because when you have the key here, uh, the perfect key shows that even if something is ending, it's ending because it's not it's not good for you. So something even better might come along. So my dear um, Aquarius, if anything ends now, don't be disheartened. Know that something perfect is coming for you. So if there's a relationship or a job situation that's ending, something more wonderful is coming. The key gives you resolutions and it's the perfect key. So it's going to give you the perfect resolution, the perfect answer and the perfect outcome. More important than anything, the perfect outcome. So remember that. That's very good. Okay. So that's that one. And then we have the Four of Pentacles. Unexpected amounts of money coming to you, money that you want to protect, money that you want to invest and put into property or real estate. But it is foundation changing money. Where you look at this, this is this could be that you are going to have so much money that you are able to buy the dream home you've always wanted. The perfect key could be the perfect home. Or the perfect resolution because of money. So that also is spectacular. Let's have a look at the next one. My goodness, you're overcoming a major obstacle in your life, just like the Four of Swords, resting and then having the greatest victory. The greatest victory. Again, there's Cancer involved here. We've got the Moon connected to Cancer. And then we've got the Chariot connected to Cancer. The Star Sign Cancer is very much... There's someone that's got cancer in them. They could have water energy, cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. Okay. But cancer is the one that seemed to be the majority. Now, don't forget at the end, we are going to go through. I don't know whether I said it or I haven't. I'll just put this one right here. Uh, whether I have said it or not, I don't remember. Could have been a few moments and I, I can't remember. <laughs> um, my dear viewers, remember, and I'll just put the dog over here. Um, that we are going to go through the star signs. I think I did say it. I can't remember. We'll go through the star signs at the end of the reading and see who is it that you're consumed with, overwhelmed with, or meeting in April onwards. So now that we've established that, I'm going to move forward. There is an earth energy that I just saw here. Someone very helpful. We need three. So it was the page of pentacles at the bottom, what you don't see coming. Someone of earth energy coming in your life this one here i'll show it so it can be uh, recorded this is the person very supportive earth energy it could be the dog here somebody born in the chinese year or the dog but uh, but uh, mercury the rule of virgo so they could be virgo uh, virgo or taurus or capricorn this earth energy we'll find out at the end but i have to show you that this is what you don't see coming three important factors for all aquarians we have the hermit. Oh my God in heaven. Why I say that? The hermit is a major arcana and it's, it represents Virgo again. That's why I had to show that, that page of pentacles, Virgo. And we've got here Virgo also, Mercury, the ruler of Virgo and the ruler of, the ruler of Gemini, but Virgo. And this is the Virgo card. So it looks like you are going to go through a lot of contemplating and searching for the truth and being uncertain. But this is going to come to an end because you'll finally understand why this situation happened. Even if it was a situation where you feel abandoned for some peculiar reason. This is again number nine, which is really shocking. Number nine is uh, September. We've got nine all over the place, which is September, which is Virgo. September is there, Virgo is there. This could be about someone that's coming in your life that is going to be changing your life. Someone that has a lot of Virgo in them. There could be someone that's passing another one. That might be, you know, like a, a grandfather or grandmother, somebody that might be, you know, elderly who's not well. They could be passing and they could be Virgo. That is also a possibility. Let's have a look further. Yes. Oh, my God. The Four of Swords again. Resting. Somebody could be resting in peace. I really believe that now. That is very possible. Completion. And, you know, it has two meanings. Somebody could be passing and resting in peace. Right. Maybe in September. Or maybe they're Virgo. Very important. Or it can mean something is coming to an end where it was just too much struggle. And the truth releases you from it and you're finally relieved that the battle is over. And you're resting. The truth and resting. This is amazing. All right. Let's see further. We need one more card. 
And there's the two of swords. Oh my God. This keeps repeating. Something is coming to an end and you're resting. Okay, so what is the two of swords? The two of swords is when you reach an impasse, when everything you do is not resolving any problem. You try to resolve it, but your hands are tied. You're not seeing it clearly. You're not um, acknowledging that there is a problem. And then the truth bites in the butt, like they say, the saying goes, I don't like saying things like that, but the truth, the swords is coming at you and showing you that it's completing, it's, it's not working because there's something perfect coming along for you. So rest assured, because even though this situation, you might be um, in battle in a situation and thinking this is it, this is, you know, this is my destiny, but it isn't. I feel like you are going to be awakened and shown that the situation is not in your hands and it's not working and you're working on it alone. You're not supported. So you are going to have the perfect one. That's why we've got bittersweet, you see. Why do we have bittersweet? Um, that's why the situation is ending. Bittersweet means so you're happy with something, but there is bitterness in it. So, yes, you're trying to please someone. You're trying to do things. You're happy in some way. But in another way, there is a lot of bitterness. Maybe when you talk, there is bitterness and expression. Talk is expression everywhere, all over the place. But remember, everything happens for a reason. So I feel like you will have the perfect person after the bittersweet. There is going to be something more wonderful or someone more wonderful coming um, and releasing you from this situation. Or once the situation ends, uh, the bitterness ends and something wonderful is coming, something incredible. So have faith, don't lose faith, no matter what, because you're going to be getting something magical. You'll be meeting maybe someone magical, but the Two of Swords is bittersweet right next to Two of Swords. So uh, somebody might be very helpful or somebody might be coming into your life, born in the Chinese year of the dog. That's very possible also. Now, for some of you, You'll be relieved something's ending. Maybe it was a government matter or law matter, the law. So you'll be happy that it's over and ended. So that's another possibility. Ultimately, the sun is going to shine what you don't see coming. The sun is shining. Lovers are doing well. Relationships are doing well. So the sun, this is what you don't see coming. We've got the sun to support you and heal the situations. Now, before my dear Aquarius, before I start clarifying, I'm going to see what else you need to know. So general reading about everything. So we've got the swords. Oh my God, the two of swords again. Wow. Look at that. The two of swords three times. Showing something is ending. It's a job maybe, a relationship, but it is coming to an absolute ending. Something is completing and coming to an end without a doubt. But the good news is the sun is going to be shining and bringing you a lot of healing. So whatever ends, it's ending because of your highest good. Something wonderful is happening to you, for you. Because we have also here winning, winning money. You could be winning money and leaving a job that's no longer working and just let it go completely. That could be the reason. And you're completing that chapter. Some of you could be leaving a job and retiring. But there is completion of a chapter. There is winning. There are payoffs. There's things to do with uh, recognition and profits and advancement, um, fame and fortune. There could be a lot of money, winning money that you become famous and you let go of anything that's not working. But ultimately, you've got to remember that laughter is the best medicine. So no matter what happens, you are going to be laughing. You are going to be happy. And that's what's more important than anything. No matter what ends, you are going to be empowered. And the sun is going to be shining in your path and giving you all the healing, abundance, radiance, and progress that you need. So, and you are going to be resting from this because it is excessive. I can see that like it's, it's too much. The two of swords twice. Wow. Mm, very interesting. Okay. The two of swords also shows uh, conflicts, problems, uh, money problems. Um, breakthrough also, like the two of swords is truth also being shown, like finally you get to see the truth. It is about law and order, oh my God, again, the gavel. You see this law and order, something about law, some law enforcement kind of situation. Um, defense, somebody might be going into the defense, 
being fired is another one losing and losing a job and it is a breakthrough that's the good news the breakthrough shows you that you know where you're at and the cup is just rewards and big money winning money and a lot of happiness let's see we're going to take two messages oh there they are beautiful okay so it says you deserve love you are lovable and you deserve love that's the first thing you need to know the second thing it says stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance that's very important okay and finally to see what the message is and i'll clarify the cards i'll just put this one over here and this one over here okay now the message for all aquarians for april onwards are oh, too many yeah too many so i'll just try to take one aquarius and there it is oh my goodness when i was shuffling this was the first one that came up okay let's see it says beware of beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess equally so the qualities that you don't like are also your own reflection so take the good with the, with the bad there's good things that you admire in someone and you love them because you know you it unites you together but there are also bad qualities maybe or you know qualities that you don't like in that person but you've got them too so always judge fairly and squarely so that you can reach to some sort of um, balance in your life so you can have balance now let's have a look at now let's clarify the cards starting with the two of swords let's see what the two of swords is all about for all aquarians what is this two of swords all about that came up three times right well it shows that there is someone of fire energy sagittarius aries leo um that might be someone that you might be dealing with that might be very uh, demanding aries leo sagittarius interesting we'll find out more at the end when i see the cards but one of your wishes is being granted that's why this is coming to an end uh, whatever is the situation it's because of one of your wishes it's putting an end to it and bringing either ending with a fire energy someone that has fire energy or ending due to a fire energy giving you a job or meeting someone new you are taking action without a doubt because there's a lot of conflict there's a lot of conflict um, there's a lot of battle here that's why you're resting from this battle but you are taking action and moving forward so that's that one you are empowered to do that with the magician's power with the dragon's power there's power in your hands to do what you want now let's have a look at the resting before i do uh, before i do actually what i'll do before the rest i'll just do the hermit and see what are these questions that you are going through what is the hermit all about for all aquarians right your answers are coming news and clarity and truth is coming very quickly you'll know where you stand all your questions of not knowing you'll understand where you're where you're heading there's the beginning of prosperity that brings you abundance of happiness and money perhaps but prosperity without a doubt coming your way it could be a great win it could be great news about winning money profits somebody giving you a gift of money there's something wonderful like that happening and you're getting the news quickly and the beginning of something prosperous something amazing so all your questions will be answered you could be working in team or somebody might um, bring you into the team uh, family business or something like that which is going to be very profitable now let's have a look now at the resting the four of swords where you're resting from a battle and you're taking stock of what happened and everything you went through let's have a look what is that all about yes you are taking a stand you're putting your foot down and fighting for what you believe and saying no i will not accept this something is ending without a doubt with the world that shows a chapter of your life is ending preparing you for great victories a great chapter traveling happiness so whatever is ending is going to be for your benefit but you do need to take action quickly soon there'll be an opportunity coming where you will have to take action quickly to take advantage of an opportunity and to resolve these problems let's see if you will do that let's go further and see what the four of pentacles is for all aquarians what is this all about celebration and a lot of money a major rise in your money and we're talking about this money you see we asked about the four of pentacles life-changing money unexpected coming i asked about it and look what it says it says a rise in your money 
that you have to think how to invest and what to do. And a great celebration. So remember, the cup here is all about money. It says winning money, paying off, payoffs, recognition, fame, bringing your money, fame or hard work, being recognized, and unexpected money. So arise in your money and celebrating the situation. So also remember there is the beginning of prosperity. So that also could be playing a role. Now, this was in regard to this. We got this answer. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is find out and the wheel of destiny. Bringing your wishes and your dreams. Wishes and dreams. How beautiful. Now, it's funny because I saw also, as I was looking at the bottom, I saw cancer. Where did it go? Anyway, it might come up again. I saw uh, this one here, the king of cups, which is cancer, water energy, Scorpio, cancer, Pisces. Could be involved in this situation because we had cancer all over the place. Now, let's have a look at the chariot and see what wishes come true and desires and dreams, fulfillment. Uh, and the wheel of destiny, the wheel of fortune, bringing you all this happiness all this abundance, so much to celebrate, so many um, changes that are going to take you to the next level that you are going to be celebrating big time. So prepare for this. This is really big. This is major, major. And um, you could be winning something really fabulous because of the luck that comes with the Wheel of Fortune. There could be a rise, major rise in your money. You could be winning something really big. Um use your lucky numbers use your watch your money reading and you will be celebrating big time amounts uh, unbelievable amounts of money are coming that's what this shows okay beautiful now let's have a look at the victory and uh the overcoming obstacles and being victorious uh what is this for all aquarians okay something hidden from you which is which you'll know soon a lot of rewards, a lot of recognition, a lot of fame, a lot of um, awards are coming, just like the Golden Cup awards, recognition, victory coming. Something is hidden from you. Something amazing and mysterious and surprising is coming. And that's going to give you the clarity, the power to move forward, to know what you need to do. And there's that last challenge. And then after this challenge, you're having all the happiness. So someone... Um, the King of Swords shows a lot of clarity that empowers you to see clearly, which is like the moon. Um, and <clears throat> the chariot is the chariot. It's about overcoming obstacles and becoming victorious. Ultimately, a lot of happiness destined for you. But there is one challenge that you have to overcome. And that's the challenge of the Two of Swords. Overcoming something, letting go of something perhaps. And that's the chariot. So we understand all that. Let's have a look at star sign combination of the person you are consumed with and dealing with on high level. Look what came up. Gemini. Somebody that has Gemini in them. And guess what? Gemini is over here. Mercury is the ruler of Gemini and Virgo. So Gemini twice. The communicator. We keep talking about communication. Wow. The moon. Guess who's the moon? And guess who's the chariot? The chariot, uh, so that you, you know, the chariot is the card of cancer. The moon is the ruler of cancer. So, and, and that king of cups that I showed you is, is a cancer, uh, the water energy. So the moon, the ruler of cancer, and then you got cancer. So there is someone, someone that has water energy, uh, could be cancer number one, and then there could be, so for others, there could be Pisces or Scorpio. But for the majority of Aquarians, there is someone that has cancer in them, star sign cancer, and I feel like their zodiac sign is cancer, and it's very, very much going to impact your life on a grand scale. So we've got Gemini, we've got um, cancer, and let's see what else are their star sign combination. We've got Virgo, there's the card, you see that, how the synchronicities are overwhelming, Mercury is the ruler of Virgo and Gemini, we got the Gemini, and we got the Virgo, so that you know this is someone that might be uh, Virgo, earth energy, with air energy, but they might have water in them also. We'll see, because we've got cancer very strong here also. We need two more to tell us about this person's uh, com star sign combination. And there's Libra, air energy Libra. Okay, one more. If we get two, it's going to be two people. The 
Aquarius are consumed with in April. No, we just got one. Ah, oh, there's the other one that fell. Oh my God, Taurus. So you are dealing with two people you're consumed, consumed with. Okay. So the earth energy that I was talking about could be Taurus because Taurus is earth, which gives you grounding, gives you support. Someone's always there that you can open your heart to. Um, someone wonderful. And then you've got Scorpio, which is water energy, just like Cancer. So, and like, no, that's all. And then we've got, so we've got two water energies, like I said, moon being Cancer, very strong water energy. Uh, and then it, it could be a situation with water energy that's coming to an end. It is possible because water and air, they don't go together unless there is Taurus there, unless there's earth energy. Unless there's Virgo there, there's earth energy. Or maybe you are... Uh, you remember that uh, page of pentacles? I said there might be an earth energy coming in your life. Well, I was right. Virgo, Taurus are earth energy and they're entering your life. Somebody with earth energy entering your life. I feel like that this person that you are dealing with that has uh, maybe water energy um, and they might have air, Gemini and Libra. There could be two people, one person you're leaving, the two of swords, a situation that's not working, and a new situation that's going well, which is earth energy. And of course, perhaps, perhaps um, Gemini or Libra. Actually, Gemini Libra uh, would go well with you because air is wonderful when there is earth. And I feel like you've got the earth to support you now, the Virgo Taurus entering your life. And the air energy being Gemini, very strong in this person. Even if you're going with someone like yourself, Aquarius, because we've got Aquarius also in the reading, like yourself, I said, they could be Aquarius. Uh, they might have Gemini or Libra in them. How you know them? They're very expressive and they're very communicative. They communicate well. Like... Um, Gemini, yeah, the Libra too, they are good communicators. So my dear um, Aquarius, what you need to have endurance in any in any kind of situation, whether it's work or relationship, business, um, love, you need earth. And, and you are going to have the earth. If you don't, you will have earth. Virgo and Taurus, someone is coming in your life that's going to be very supportive. Earth energy, I feel like you might be letting go of air energy somehow, that's mixed with water say for example you are dealing with someone that's cancer gemini you might leave that behind because you might be having a lot of um, disconnections and not working well together but for others you might be meeting someone and you're falling in love with someone that is water energy cancer with libra or cancer with gemini or scorpio it is possible but i'm seeing you uh, sort of like in the process of letting go of something that's a situation that's been overwhelming you there's one more challenge that comes to an end. And then finally, once you're healed, you are going to be moving on for the perfect key, the perfect situation, the perfect resolution, the perfect home, the perfect love, the perfect situation is coming. And I feel that is connected to earth energies, Virgo and Taurus. That's what I feel. I could be wrong. You can always correct me and let me know how you feel and where you're at. But you are going to be empowered. And it's going to be the end of conflict once something you realize has to come to an end. That's why, hence, we have got all these two of swords here, things coming to an end. And that is the end of your reading. I do hope you enjoyed it. Do give me a thumbs up, my dear viewers. Let me know what you think. Can't wait to hear from you. Can't wait to do your next reading. Don't forget to watch your money reading. There's excessive money and luck coming your way. Extraordinary money and luck. And um, don't forget to watch the videos all the way to the end without stopping them in support of me and subscribe to the channel it's free in support of me that's the only support i ask for i wish you a lot of love and light namaste